Talk today is a chromatic lecture two, and our speaker is Sihao Ma. He will tell us about complex com complex cobordism, complex bordism, and time construction. Uh, okay, so thanks for introducing. Uh, so today I'll talk about complex bordisms. And uh, uh, before that, I would like to give a, a brief introduction to spectra since it will be needed in my uh, talks. So uh, I, I will not dig into the homotopy theory of spectra, which will be the main topics of the talks for the uh, following days. Uh, so to, to introduce the spectra, we recall that yesterday I talked about the uh, brown representability that tells us that uh, every cohomology theory can be represented by uh, omega spectrum. So it is natural to ask if uh, one can find a similar represent uh, representability theorem for homology theory. And in fact, it's quite subtle since if we look at the uh, homotopy groups, functor of uh, Functor of homotopy groups that is not a uh, homology theory. However, so uh, because the, it does not satisfy the existence, but if we consider the uh, stable homotopy groups, which is defined to be the co limit. Uh, of the uh, homotopy groups of suspension spectrums, uh, it turns out that it is a homology theory. So it let us uh, like. So one, uh, so to represent a uh, homology theory, it can uh, we cannot use the spaces, but instead we have to use something with uh, stable properties. So that's where the uh, that's why we will introduce the spectrum. So the here's the definition. So a spectrum K will consist of a sequence of spaces uh, K naught, K one, and so on in like the uh, in the which are the pointing state of the compass, and together with uh, the structure maps. from the suspension of Kn to uh, Kn plus one. And we can define the uh, homotopy groups of a spectrum to be the co-limit of the homotopy groups of the, uh, the, the spaces in the definition of the spectrum. So where the maps comes from first we take a, a suspension and then uh, take the induced map from the structure map. So let me show some examples. So the first example is that whenever we have a point in CW complex, we can construct the suspension spectrum.
which will denote by suspension infinity x, whose n space is defined to be the n fold suspension of the point CW complex. And the structure map, well, is the, the identity map. So the homotopy group of the spec, uh, this suspension spectrum, by the definition, uh, we can see uh, easily see that uh, it is just the stable homotopy groups of the uh, original space. So that's the first example. And for the, uh, let's see another example. So if we have an omega spectrum, we can construct a, a spectrum for this omega spectrum, which we denote K prime, so that it's uh, n space is the same as the n space in the omega spectrum, while the structure maps are uh, adjoint to the structure maps in the define, uh, definition of omega spectrum. So this tells us that the uh, spectrum is somehow like a generalization of the omega spectrum. And finally, we will get uh, we will have a third example. So if we ha already have a spectrum K, and we have another uh, pointy cedar complex. We can define their uh, smash product to be a spectrum whose n space is uh, defined to be the n space of the original spectrum K smash the space X. And the structure maps comes from the structure maps in the, uh, in the spectrum K. So in particular, we can see that we can express the suspension spectrum as the uh, as a smash product. That is the the suspension spectrum of a a, a pointy cedar complex is just the uh, suspension spectrum of sphere smash with the space x. And so that we can see the, the stable homotopy groups of X is just the stable homotopy, uh, just the homotopy groups of this uh, smash product spectrum. So that it tells us that, uh, so we already know that this is a homology theory. So more generally, One can uh, replace this uh, suspension spectrum of the sphere to any spectrum, and it can be shown that uh, this will also be a homology theory. That means for for a spectrum K, so we have a functor like this, this will always be a homology theory. So one can, in, uh, one can check that as an exercise. Well, so conversely, there's a theorem of Adams 
so that any uh, nice, somehow nice homology theory can always be defined through such a spectrum. So that's the theorem state that any homology theory satisfying a condition that the homology theory of a pointy CW complex is always is isomorphic to the uh, homo co-limit of homology group of the uh, X alpha, where the X alpha take over all these uh, finite sub complex of X. So I will show that if a homology theory satisfy this condition, it will always be like represented by a spectrum. That means the homology groups are just the homotopy group of the spectrums mesh the space. So for example, if we consider the uh, singular homology theory with uh, abelian group coefficients, So this is defined by a spectrum called the elimber maclean spectrum. Which we will denote by HA. That is the uh, just the associated spectrum of the elimber maclean omega spectrum I introduced yesterday, which means that its n space is the K A N the elimber maclean space, and the structure map in the uh, adjoint of the structure maps in the omega spectrum. So, so since this spectrum defines a homology theory and one can easily check that it satisfies the dimension exists. So it, it, the, the homology theory is uh, defined by this elimber maclean spectrum has to be the singular homology with coefficients. So the next example will be our uh, main topics today, so that we can define a, a Bordizen homology theory. And we will show that they are defined by some home spectrum. So for this part, uh, my uh, my reference is the uh, Dennis Nardin's lecture notes on his homepage. So. To start with, we'll first uh, explain 
something about the tone spectrum. So, a uh, tone space is defined for a, a vector bundle. And similarly, we can stabilize it so that we will focus on a map or pointing space from X to BO. It, whenever we have a map like this, we can construct a spectrum which we'll call the tone spectrum and denoted by X to the F. which will be a generalization of the tone spaces. So for the concrete uh, construction, uh, I will not explain the concrete constructions, but I will uh, give some examples to show that it is a generalization of the tone space. So for example, uh, if, if our, map F uh, factors through some uh, B O N. The, this map actually classifies a virtual vector bundle of rank zero. That means it's a uh, it classifies uh, some n-dimensional vector bundle gamma minus the uh, some like for example it minus some a uh, uh, trivial bundle. Uh, so we can define the 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 tone spectrum the k space of the tone spectrum to be a, a point if the k is less than n and to be the suspension of the tone spectrum of gamma uh, to uh, suspension of the tone space of gamma when k is greater or equal to n. So that's when, when it classifies a vector bundle, it actually uh like uh is similar to the uh tone spaces or related to the tone spaces so i'll give some other examples so when f is the identity map from bo to bo which does not factor through any bo n so the tone spectrum will denote by uh, MO, which will be uh, defined such that the N space of MO is the tone space of the universal N real bundle over BON. And the structure maps that come from the suspension of the tone space to another tone space actually uh, comes from the maps of bundles where we have the universal bundle over B O N plus one. And we notice that the uh, suspension of a tone space it's just the tone space for the bundle, the rest of with a trivial bundle. So this map come from the, the map of the bundles. So that's the uh, spectrum MO, which we are called the uh, the Bordizen spectrum.
And we can also define some other spectrum similarly. So if F is defined, uh, it's given by the map from BSO to BO, which is induced by the inclusion map for, from SON to ON. We can similarly define a spectrum uh, MSO called the oriented horizon spectrum. whose uh, n space is defined to be the tone space of some uh, of the universal oriented bundle. And similarly, if we take F to be the map from BU to BO, which is indu uh, induced by the inclusion from UN to O2N, we'll get the spectrum we denote by MU called the complex Fordism spectrum. So this spectrum will be an uh, essential objects in the chromatic homotopy theory, as you will be, uh, you'll be shown in the following days. So it will define to be the 2n space of MU are defined to be the tone space of the uh, universal n complex bundle. And we can define the 2n plus one space to be the suspension of the 2n space. So that the structure maps from the 2n space to the 2n plus, 2N plus first space is the identity and the, uh, the structure maps from the 2n plus first space to the uh, 2n plus second space, that is a map from the twofold suspension or some space to another some space is actually again given by the, uh, the, the map of bundles, map of complex bundles. So that's the uh, complex Bordizen spectrum. And finally, we'll get the final example where we take F to be the PBO to BO, where PBO is a path space. So the, then the tone spectrum the n space of this tone spectrum is defined to be the uh, tone space of the vector bundle classified by the map from PBON to BON. And since the path space is contractible, we can know that this tone space is homotopy equivalent to the n sphere. Okay, so uh, now we will fix a, a, a vibration from 
uh, uh, point his spaces to be O. We will consider about the, the like the the structures that uh, we can say about uh, we can uh, say about a vector bundle which related to this vibration. So, um, sorry to interrupt. Actually, there is a question just posted in the chat. The question is. Mm -hmm. Um, are all of these constructions supposed to be special cases of the first one? Uh, actually, no, since like not every map uh, factors through the BON. So like for the second example, the identity map of the BO does not factor through BON so that it is not a special case of the first one. Okay, so uh, now we fix a vibration aside from B to B O. I will define a concise structure on a, a, a virtual vector bundle. So if we are given a compact space, and the map which classifies a virtual vector bundle. So, uh, the concise structure on this virtual vector bundle It's a it's just a factorization. That we have a map for X to be O and another map from B to B O, which is a vibration, and we factor we uh, uh, it's a factorization of V along the psi. So that this will be called a stru uh, psi structure on the vector bundle. And it is worth noting that, so if the psi is taken to be the identity map of the uh, identity map of BO, the, it actually gives nothing, uh, no additional structure. But if B, uh, if psi is the map from BSO to BO, then it actually gives us the orientation of the uh, vector bundle. And if B is taken to be BU. This map, uh, this uh, will give us the stable complex structure. And if B is taken to be uh, the path space PBO, this will be a stable framing. I plan about something about a stable framing. So if a vector bundle from X to BO, it uh, classifies uh, the vector bundle since it is uh, compact, it, it classify some vector bundle gamma minus the, the n-dimensional trivial bundle. 
and then a, a leap to the PBO, actually since X is compact, you know, finally uh, factor through some PBOM, the path space of BOM, so that it actually give us a trivialization of the vector bundle, uh, the, the, the rest of the given vector bundle with some uh, trivial line bundles. So that it actually gives uh, give us a framing about the, uh, of the vector bundle. So that's why it's called the stable framing. So in particular, if we are focus, uh, if we focus on uh, on the manifold, we can talk about the uh, size structures on the manifold. So if if n is a compact uh, manifold, the uh, size structure on m is just the size structure on the uh, stable normal bundle. In the which uh, the stable normal bundle will uh, denote by this the unfold uh, the n dimensional trivial bundle minus its tangent bundle since the definition of from the definition of the uh, normal bundle, we will find out that it actually we have to embed the manifold into a Euclidean space. And then the tangent bundle, plus, uh, the direct sum of the tangent bundle and the normal bundle is a trivial bundle. So that we can uh, den uh, denote the stable normal bundle by this. And so uh, in, it's worth noting that for a manifold with boundary, let M be a N plus one manifold with boundary. The size structures on M actually induces the size structures on the boundary. So that's because if we consider the normal uh, stable normal bundle of M that restricts to its boundary, it is by the uh, corollary uh, the by the by the tubular neighborhood theorem. We have find the neighborhood of the boundary so that we all know that it is isomorphic to the uh, stable normal bundle of the boundary of M. So that if M is given a size structure, then we can get a size structure on the boundary of M. So by, by, by such a process, so a size structure on M is something like this, where M to BO classifies the stable normal bundle, and there's a lifting, and we can define the size structure on the boundary to be the Lifting that is a composite map from the boundary and uh, inclusion to the uh, 
n plus one manifold m, and then to the exercise structure map from m to b. So that this will give us a size structure on the uh, boundary of m. So then we can define the cobordism group. For a non-negative integer m, define the n-dimensional cobordism group which will denote by omega and psi, it defined to be a quotient of a commutative monoid by something. So it's, so we first have a set that contains all the closed and manifolds with psi structure. On this set, we can take the, uh, the functor of this joint union to make it, uh, to have it equipped with uh, the structure of a commutative monoid. So we quotient this commutative monoid by the sum monoid of, uh, generated by all the boundaries of n plus one manifold with size structures. So it is a quotient um, monoid. So the first thing to ask is, how do you show that uh, it is a group? So actually it is. So here's how we construct uh, how, how we construct the inverse element. So if we are given a uh, Give a closed n manifold with size structure. Then we can consider the lifting problem that come from that we want to lift the uh, size structure to the uh, manifold n cross i, where i is the closed interval. Uh, from zero to one. And to ask for a size structure of n cross i is equivalent to ask for a lifting of, the, of such a diagram. And since we, uh, in the definition, we require that the map psi from B to BO is a vibration. We know that the lifting always exists so that we will give a size structure on the manifold N cross I, and then we can restrict this uh, size uh, structures on the other side of the boundary, that's uh, n cross one, so that we can get the size structure on n cross one. And then the size structures on n cross zero, uh, so n cross zero, 
is a manifold with size structure and L cross one is another manifold with size structures. If we take the destroying unions, we will get the, the boundary of the um, N plus one manifold N cross I with consist structures. So it tells us that whenever we have a, it tells us that in, in, in the N dimensional cobordism group for every N phi, every element N phi, we can find a, find an inverse and five prime such that the result will be zero. So this tells us that in fact, in the cobordism group is a group. So here comes, so the Tom, the Tom constructs a map which relates the cobordism group and the homotopy group of the tone spectra like this. So here's the tone spectra, uh, tone construction. That whenever we have uh, elements and phi in the uh, cobordism group, By the witness embedding theorem, M can always be embedded into some Euclidean space. We can take an embedding into the Euclidean space. And then we take the one point co uh, compactification to the N plus K dimensional sphere. So that we can construct a map like this. It comes from the sphere and then we quotient out the rest, uh, we can take a we can take a tubular neighborhood of M in the sphere, and then we caution or uh, we caution out every other areas. And so this caution space actually is just the uh, tone space of the normal bundle. So in fact, this map will give us an element in the homotopy group. Pi n plus k of the tall space. Which we can identify the uh, tone space and the k space of our uh, of the tone spectra so we can take the co-limit with respect to k Then we can get an element in the uh, uh, homotopy groups of the tone spectrum. So that's the tone construction. And further, we can furthermore, so uh, 
till now, this only use the uh, information of the manifold M, and we will notice that we also have a size structure on M, that is the man phi. So the man phi is actually a man from N to B. Uh, over the BO, where the map from M to BO is a stable normal bundle, and the map from B to BO is our fixed max side. So this map phi will give us a map between the uh, thorn spectrum if we denote, if we let n psi be the thorn spectrum of uh, the map psi, this map phi will induce a map phi star. that comes from the tone spectrum of the stable normal bundle to the tone spectrum, uh, to the tone spectrum and psi, so that induce a uh, map on the homotopy groups. From the homotopy groups of the tone, uh, tone spectrum of the stable normal bundle to the homotopy group, of our thorn spectrum and psi. So in conclusion, this finally give us a map from the cobordism group to the homotopy groups of the thorn spectrum of stable normal bundle, and finally to the homotopy group of our uh, given uh, the, the of uh, to the homotopy group of the thorn spectra of psi, so that there's a theorem called the Bontragin thorn theorem, which tells us that this map is actually an isomorphism. Especially if we consider, uh, if we let the max psi to be the map from the path space to be O, From PBO to BO, we recall that the tone spectrum, the tone spectrum and psi, the k space of the tone spectrum and psi is actually equivalent, homotopy equivalent to the sphere SK. So we all know that. The homotopy group of this thorn spectrum is the co-limit of the k plus uh, n plus k homotopy group of the k sphere, which will be the stable homotopy group of zero sphere. So this will tell us that the uh, the stable framing Bordizen group is isomorphic to the uh, stable homotopy group of spheres. Okay, so that's the Pontragian thorn theorem. To, uh, to conclude my talk today, I will finish it with the, the, uh, the 
a construction of the uh, Fordism homology theory, description of the Fordism homology theory. So actually, we already show that uh, we already show that the there's a homology theory that can be defined through the uh, spectrum and psi. And now we will give it a more detailed, uh, more detailed description. So if we know that, if we consider the uh, spectrum and psi that smash, uh, smash products with a, a pointed space, S plus, where S plus means that we add a point, add a base point to the a space X. We all know that the N psi is a thorn spectrum and X plus is actually a thorn space for uh, the trivial vector bundle of rank zero. So it's again, should be a thorn spectrum where the Psi x is the map from b cross x to b to b o, where the first map is the projection map and the second map is our psi. So that this will give, give us an isomorphism by the Pontryagin Thorn theorem that tell us the uh, homotopy group of the smash product spectrum is isomorphic to some uh, Bordism group with respect to psi x, where the left-hand side is the unreduced Bordism homology theory, where we can get the uh, reduced Bordism homology theory by take the kernel uh, of math from this to the uh, body, uh, the the psi body, uh, group. So actually, we can uh, furthermore unpack the definition of the body group with respect to psi x, since it's just like the equivalent class of uh, a factorization. Like this, we are actually this is equivalent uh, to to give a map uh, to give a map continuous map from M to X and another size structures that from M to B, which give us a size structures. Oh, yeah. So that it's actually the uh, Bordism classes of the map for M to X, where M uh, has the size structures. So that's all my contents today. Thank you.